Hello, my name is Prashant. I'm a technical marketing engineer in the Cisco SD-WAN product team. In this video, we will explore the 20.8 UX 2.0 configuration feature and associated workflow. Cisco SD-WAN provides templates for configuring the controllers and the edge devices. Templates overcome the limitations of the CLI approach for configuration. They offer enforcing of device configuration consistency and compliance across the network, bulk device configuration provisioning using template variables, central provisioning from vman and GUI. Every supported feature has a GUI template called as feature template. Feature templates are the building blocks of configuration. There is also the CLI template, which offers traditional CLI-based configuration. A bunch of feature templates or a CLI template makes up a device template. Templates are device model specific. Device template contains the complete operation configuration for a device. This configuration is pushed to the device when the template attach operation is performed. Let us look at some of the challenges with using templates and also with doing a POC or a day zero deployment. In large scale deployments, there could be an issue of template sprawl caused by many devices with different configurations. Managing such a huge number of templates can be a difficult task. Creating templates is not an intuitive process. There could be frequent switches between the device template and feature template pages. It is also a slow and manual operation. There are no smart defaults in the configuration which hampers a quick and easy POC or day zero deployment. Templates are device model specific and the possibility of a template reuse or sharing is limited. UX 2.0 configuration feature takes a simple, reusable and structured approach for configuration. A workflow based configuration that guides the user with step by step instruction is adopted. This clearly identifies what is necessary, optional, and Cisco recommended best practice. Improved reusability where the configuration components can be reused across the CH device family instead of being specific for a device model. Grouping of devices based on shared configuration. This structure helps in realization of other features related to monitoring, troubleshooting, and so on. Here are some terminologies configuration groups. Logical grouping of devices as defined by the user based on business needs could be region based, function based, and so on. Feature profiles. These are the building blocks of configuration that are shared across configuration groups, like WAN profile, LAN profile, and so on. Feature parcels. Individual capabilities that make up a feature profile can be shared across configuration groups. Some examples include logging, LTE, VPN1, and so on. To summarize, Configuration groups contain feature profiles which are made up of feature parcels. Configuration groups are device model agnostic. All these components together offer a new approach to configuration. A workflow is a collection of guided steps to help you perform a certain task easily. We will explore the rapid side configuration group workflow. Provide a name for the configuration group. Define the basic feature profile which is comprised of the global settings like banner, NTP, and so on. Define the WAN transports and LAN segments. Review the summary. As a next step, we can either end with the creation of configuration group and provision it later, or continue to provisioning right away. Unlike templates, configuration group's creation and its deployment to devices are two separate actions. With templates, once it's created, it is immediately pushed to the attached devices. With configuration groups, however, it can be created at a point in time and can be deployed to devices later. Let's continue to the provisioning. First, we select the devices, then provide the device specific configuration. Export, import, CSV file option is also available. Review and deploy. A preview CLI option is also provided. The status of the deployment task can be viewed here. Under the configuration templates page, we can view and edit the configuration groups and feature profiles details. A comparison of the workflows for a use case shows that the number of clicks with the UX 2.0 configuration workflow is much less compared to that of the one with templates. The artifacts comparison also shows that significantly less number of artifacts are generated with the UX 2.0 configuration. UX auto configuration overcomes several challenges associated with the templates, namely intuitiveness and ease of use, template sprawl and management, quick and easy POC or day zero deployment, separation of creation and deployment of configuration, structure and visualization. Thank you for watching.